don't know if this has ever happened to you, but occasionally a toy will be made and I'll think to myself, wow, they could never make anything better than that. Case in point, the power of the Jedi IG-88 here. When this guy came out and I thought to myself, they will never make an IG-88 better than this. This is so fantastic. And then before you know it, there was this marvelous IG-88 right here. The same thing happened with Boba Fett. The Evolutions and Vintage Collection Boba Fett blew me away. And I thought to myself they could never do better than that until the Force Link Boba Fett came around. But the problem with the Force Link Boba Fett was he only had five points of articulation. So I'm going to solve that problem today on No Skill Customs. On the left is the Evolutions Boba Fett, possibly a vintage collection one. They, they're basically the same. And on the right is the Force Link Boba Fett. And you can see right away that the helmet on the Force Link, Force Link Boba Fett is much more satisfactory. But if you look closer, I like the chest plate armor, even some of the paint and the other details on the Force Link Boba Fett better. But the problem is his hands are at his side. Boba Fett never stands around with his hands at his side. So I'm going to offer a couple of solutions today. The first one is a no skills custom. The second is going to require a little bit of skill. So stick with me and I'll show you how to do it. So here's our no skill custom that anyone can do. First you take the Force Link Boba Fett and you take off his head which is a lot harder than it looks, <laughs> but you can pull it off pretty easily. And then you take off the head of the super articulated Boba Fett and you just need to wad a little bit of uh, sticky tack in there so it fits right, but you can squeeze that uh, the force link head onto the, the super articulated body and it looks pretty decent. I still like the, the body of the force link one, so the next, the next custom I'm going to show you utilizes that one's body. Now for this next custom we're not going to swap heads, we are going to swap arms. And uh, yes, that does mean boiling, popping, cutting, and dremeling. So check it out. First thing you're going to do is you're going to put your super articulated Boba Fett into some water and slowly boil that water. What that's going to do is it's going to soften his arms. Now you should always uh, stick around and monitor your toys when you're boiling them. Basically um, it softens them so you can pop off the rubbery parts from the harder parts. Okay, and for Boba Fett I'm going to soften his uh, arms so that I can pop off the lower part of his arms. Now if you're a kid you should always ask for an adult's help in doing something like this because you are dealing with boiling water. He's pretty much ready so I'm going to pop his arms off right now. I carefully lift him off with a fork and I hold him using my shirt a little bit. Alright, and all you have to do is once they're softened enough, you just yank like that and the arm comes right off at the joint. Now get ready because there's no going back after this point. We are going to chop off the arms of our Force Link Boba Fett. So I'm going to remove the helmet again and uh, take off his uh, backpack just so I can get to the arms a little more cleanly. And what you got to pay attention to is Boba Fett's right arm, if you're looking at the super articulated version, the right arm um, where I popped it off begins right underneath his short sleeve. Boba Fett is wearing short sleeves and then long sleeves underneath that. Begins right underneath the short sleeve. But on the other arm, his left arm, you see that it, it actually, uh, his arm joint begins lower than that. So you have to leave a little bit more of the sleeve on, on your Force Link Boba Fett on the left side. So please be, pay attention to that. You're going to end up with a Boba Fett that has one short arm and one normal arm. And then to cut it off, you just uh, apply a lot of pressure using the uh, your X-Acto knife. Now, some people will boil the figures first because it softens them, makes it a lot easier. This was a little tough to do, but not too bad. Um, I have actually broken an X-Acto knife, like not the blade, the whole entire handle doing this once, but... Uh, it worked pretty well that time. So you're going to cut off both arms, remembering, of course, the left arm, you have to leave a little bit more of it. Okay, go a little bit below that short sleeve. 
Okay, I know you're getting nervous, but this is going to turn out cool. Pr I promise. Um, all you need now is to get out that Dremel tool. Basically, we're going to drill holes into each of these arms so that the other arms can fit in and we can maintain the joints that, that, that it, they still have. So what you have to do is you're going to, you're going to drill straight in and then you're going to kind of move to one side and then to the other with the Dremel tool to make, to make room for this, the peg that's sticking off of the super articulated arms that we're going to add. All right, so then you're going to go straight in with the Dremel tool and then you're going to rock the Dremel tool a little bit from one side to the next and that's going to make your hole. And once you've done it with one arm, you're just going to do it to the next. And then we have to boil the super articulated arms so we can pop them back in these holes we made. I got a little excited there and forgot to film myself uh, popping the, the, the arms back in the holes, but you can see it worked really well. You had uh, swivel articulation and, uh, of course, the elbows still bend too with both arms. So now you've, you've actually just added... Uh, six points of articulation to the force link Boba Fett and uh, he's gonna look mighty cool once you put that head in the uh, and the backpack back on so here he is all finished um, with the it's the essentially the force link Boba Fett with uh, the super articulated arms and I know some people are a little hesitant to do a custom like this because Boba Fett's so popular but uh, seeing as how they just re-released the vintage collection Boba Fett and they and he still looks the same as the Evolutions one, essentially. Uh, I think it's highly unlikely that we're going to see a good Empire Strikes Back version of Boba Fett anytime soon. So consider trying this out. And uh, let me know how it works for you. And uh, leave a comment. And like and subscribe and all that fun stuff. And I'll be trying to put out more content soon. Have a good one.